Hello. Uh, good morning and thank you for opportunity to present this very important and wonderful topic. Uh, and it is very useful topic for the postgraduates that is the Glasgow Scoma Scale, Four Scale and Peak and Rule. Uh, you know, like uh, uh, Glasgow Spoma scale is conventionally we are using for uh, last many years. Just got uh, three component eye opening, uh, uh, response to eye opening, verbal response, and motor response. We just got aggregate 15 points. And uh, uh, depending upon this point, you will also classify, uh, classify the brain injury into minor. Uh, or minor or mild, moderate or severe. But uh, in the recent years, in 2018, uh, in Journal of Neurosurgery, uh, this um, uh, GCS is uh, updated and thoroughly revised and they, put, they made it that approach is simplified and they corrected what are the liquidity it has got so far. So, uh, so according to the new approach, they made it in a simple four level approach to assess GCS. The first one is you just uh, assess for the, uh, check for the factors that interfering for communication, ability to respond uh, and, and, and injuries. The second step in this is like uh, looking at ob you are observe first you check it then observe observe for eye opening, content of speech and moment of right and left sides. Then the third step you stimulate you stimulate your patient, uh, stimulate uh, for the uh, for the sound and the physical sound for the spoken and shouted request and the physical you do pressure on fingertip, trapezius, or suborbital. According to the three, the fourth step is your rate, whether, whatever the result you are, go, you are uh, getting out of this assessment. This is the fourth simple four step assessment. GCS is the new one. And uh, one important thing like uh, you should, uh, previously you are, uh, as you are applying pain uh, to get the response. And hereafter, the, you should not apply painful, any painful stimuli. What you can do, you can do only a pressure to elicit the response. So the usual size to apply the pressure are the fingertip, the trapezius, or the supraorbital notch. And uh, how long you apply this pressure? You have to do 10 seconds maximum. And uh, you know, like uh, the one of the major drawback of the Glasgow Coma scale uh, is there are so many confounding factors which mislead the results of the GCS. This include uh, drugs, particularly anesthetic, sedatives, neuromuscular blockade agents, etc. And also sometimes with the cranial nerve injury, intoxications like alcohol or drug, hearing impairment, a patient on endotracheal tube or on tracheostomy tube, Again, uh, sometimes patient with limb or spinal cord injury, dysphasia, pre-existing pre disorders like dementia, psychiatric disorders, ocular trauma, language and cultural related issue, orbital selling, all this will, uh, will, uh, are the, some of the confounding, confounding factors that are rendering one or more components of the uh, Glasgow Scoma scale. In that case, what you would record, you have to just put it NT. NT means not able to test or not tested, non -test, not testable. So recently, uh, the Journal of Neurosurgery again added a few more things in the assessment of the GCS score. One is like they added a pupillary reaction. That is what is called a GCSP. In GCSP, what you can do that the pupillary reactivity score, that's the PRS, is subtracted from the total uh, uh, coma scale total score. So a GCSP, GCS minus P is equal to, uh, that is a GCSP. Here, uh, that the GCSP is here, it is ranging from 15 to 1. So 
in fact what you will you will do is you are looking at the unreactiveness to the pupils unreactiveness to the light so you can grade in like suppose the both the people are unreactive you will give the score of 2 if only one people is unreactive you will give the score of 1 and if the both the people are reactive you will give the score of 0 so this way you have to add that this is sp in addition to that again new new gcs system they added age also because that age is the one of the risk factor uh, risk factor for the death after uh, after traumatic brain injury and uh, this uh, death rate is increasing when the age is increased similarly all the ages again uh, the risk of death increase due to gcs p is decreases and uh, so what is the most important thing is like uh, with uh, with the uh, with the addition of the age along with the gcsp uh, there will be there will be charts or the nomogram which shows the risk of death and also there are normal it's a separate nomogram to predict that favorable outcome uh, in the 6 month period of the post traumatic injury so this is the one uh, one nomogram which predict the mortality where you can see that age is pl plotted against gcsp uh, this another nomogram here this is the one which uh, predict that 6 month uh, favorable outcome following a traumatic brain injury and also like and also combining like them to convey the information uh, graphically about the risk of mortality or the prospects of the independent recovery after head injury so uh, another thing what we have the, the the new recommendation added along with the gcs people react to in age ct scan finding so the ct scan finding is uh, uh, again like um, it is a simple extension of the prognostic chart that can be made by uh, stratifying original charts into the ct scan grouping as in three group that is the no uh, patients with no uh, ct scan finding uh, or patient with one ct scan finding or patient two or more ct scan finding so this here you again they created that two sets of three predictive charts that based on gcsp plus patient age and number of ct scan abnormalities and these charts there are also charts for no ct scan abnormality or ct scan no with one ct scan abnormality or two or more abnormalities Uh, see this is like uh, these charts are uh, predict uh, the favorable outcome and also this will be helpful as to uh, as for deciding or the, for, as helping us for decision making and communicating the predictive information to the clinicians uh, patients and their caregivers so uh as far as again gcs is concerned uh, when uh, the case is a pediatric the ch in in a case of child particularly in infants and children uh, this is slightly different particularly the difference is seen in verbal response this uh, gross reference what you can see is in the uh, response is seen in uh, seen in the infants Uh, where you see like uh, we will assess that verbal response by smile co and coos or the cries and uh, cries and consonable or the persistent inappropriate crying or screaming or the grunts and agitated result or no response like that so the pediatric gcs is something different from the adult gcs now we are coming to the four score four score is uh, Uh, is has got the four 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 system of scoring that include eye opening uh, then eye opening muscle response uh, motor responses then brain stem reflexes and uh, respirations so uh, so see the brain stem reflexes are again in the all all are in the four skill measuring also there in the brain stem reflexes that the uh, they look at into the pupil reactivity and corneal reflexes whether it is present or not and whether it is present in one eye and, and when the next grade in uh, grade is coming pupil or corneal reflexes are absent or both are 
absin or no reflexes are at all again coming to the respiratory responses they are looking at uh, regular respiratory pattern or chain stock breathing or irregular breathing or it triggers the ventilator or breath above the ventilator rate and apnea so something we have to know like uh, the basic difference between the gcs and the four scale in the gcs uh, you know like there are 3.3 level assessment or three parameters are assessing but in uh, in in four score there are four components are assessing which include eye response motor response brain stem response and respiratory system that is e4 m4 b4 and r4 uh, issue is like you know like the gcs has got a limited role uh, in patient on endotracheal tube or the tri or the tracheostomy or is this misleading or this, these are the confounding factors but definitely the four score can be assessed this kind of patients again uh, in icu send all gcs score is less uh, relevant uh, they are mainly using apache 2 score but uh, 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 but um, Uh, but in see like uh, these are very uh, four scores are very useful in detecting patients with lock syndrome particularly in icu so other thing it is the gcs is well validated for the last 30 years uh, but the four score had to be need more validations and uh, finally we are coming to the pcan rule pcan rule is basically used to decide the ct scan whether the ct scan is required in an pediatric cases so the this uh, pcan uh, rules are again is different for those children who are below 2 years and those who are above 2 years so in a simple version the pcan rule is um, a pigan rule is assessed by if suppose the baby is less than 2 years what you have to assess you can you look at uh, how the whether the three things you are look at whether there is a altered mental status or how the if the gcs is less than 15 or there is any palpable skull, skull fracture if this is there definitely that child is required or indicated for a ct scan but coming to an age above 2 years uh, the gcs and ams are same rather than looking at the palpable uh, palpable skull fracture you look for the any any signs of basal skull fracture if this any one of these are there again you should go for uh, ct scan. can and if this is not there again the next uh, what you have to look at if the patient is less than 2 year you have to look at whether the loc is more than 5 year or there is any frontal hematoma is there any frontal hematoma or a non reacting patient is not acting normally or there is a severe mechanism of injury if this any one of this is there yes you have to uh, put the patient on uh, patient on observation or uh, or the observation versus ct scan be decided if this less than depending upon the physician experience uh, multiple or isolated finding worsening symptom or signs in the ed observation or if the child is less than 3 month and the parental preferences uh, but if the child is more than 2 years uh, what you will do like you see that history of loc history of vomiting uh, severe headache or severe uh, mechanism uh, severe mechanism if this is the you decide uh, whether Uh, like to be observe observe or to the ct scan the ct scan whether to take ct scan is again in a, in a, in a child more than 2 year depending upon the physician experience multiple versus isolated finding and uh, worsening symptoms uh, signs and symptoms in ed observation and also parental preferences so Uh, these are the four things i quickly explain thank you for uh, your patient listening any question you can ask now thank you